Hello Scorpio and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 24th of January to the 7th of February 2022. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle and this is the green wheel oracle which I'll be using today to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom does the mysterious oracle have for Scorpio for the 24th of January to the 7th of February 2022. What messages are here for Scorpio for the next two weeks? What does Scorpio need to know at this time? Take a couple of cards and let's see what you get. The Weaver's Moon and the Cold Moon. So the Weaver's Moon, the message I get there from, from that today is about stepping, walking a mile in another person's shoes. Sort of, um, it's, it's a journey, it's a sort of a shape-shifting card. It's about... compassion, understanding others through sharing their experiences. And that, you know, it's sort of a transition that comes through realizing how it is for others. And then you've also got the cold moon, which is a lovely card of finding that soft place to fall, finding someone who you can be yourself with. This is about, you know, that warm embrace when you feel at home. Um, you know, it's coming in from the cold. And so there you have the cold moon coming in from the cold and the weaver's moon walking in another's shoes. True empathy and compassion. Those are lovely energies. But let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. So let's see what's on the cards for Scorpio for the 24th of January to the 7th of February 2022. What messages are here for Scorpio for the next two weeks? What does Scorpio need to know at this time and this is the Mariluna tarot I think which I'll be using today to put down an eight card spread for you Scorpio with the first two cards depicting you in your current situation where you are now the next two cards Highlighting the challenges that you may be facing at this time. The following two cards offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the last two cards, which may reveal your potential outcome to this situation. It shows the energies that you're moving towards. So let's see what you get. You start here with the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords, and that's the cat, Rocket. Hopefully she'll go soon. And then, mind your foot, Rocket. And then you have as your challenge, the Emperor and the Five of Pentacles. With your guidance being Strength and the Six of Wands. 
and you move towards the Ten of Swords and the King of Wands. Look, you have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is a card that denotes pure joy, happiness, a potential here to find love and contentment and sort of the joy from that that could spill over into all areas of your life. So there's a potential here for finding that true love, that happiness, that joy, that coming in from the cold. You start here with, you've got a lot of swords in a row there, actually. With the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords, it sort of makes me feel that you, there's, um, you've been operating through, with, your, with your head rather than through the heart. And the King of Swords is about, um, you know, that discipline, that astuteness. Um, discernment, m needing to make a careful decision and doing so um, with discernment. You know, this is almost about the willingness to to act on a, 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 a carefully made decision, but one that feels quite harsh, one that, you know, there's almost like you're trapped. You feel you've got to do something logically. Um but with the Eight of Swords, it sort of depicts the sense of that trapping you, you know, and, and, and the sense that you can't get out of a situation and um, that need for drawing a line and determining um, the, the, the logical way to solve an issue. Because you've got here in your challenge here, the Emperor's about, the, these two totally opposite cards, the Emperor's about attainment, success, achievement through dedication, discipline, hard work, but the responsibility that that brings, it seems to be, you know, trapped in responsibility and a fear of lack, a fear of being out in the cold with the Five of Cups. So it's almost like I, this, the story I get from that is, is like a carefully made wise decision, but one that leaves you feeling cold, leaves you feeling a lack of love and joy. And, you know, maybe sort of a sense that you want to hold on to it because it seems such a logical and um, responsible decision to have made. Um, so it's almost like going with with what is what seems right and um, in you know full of integrity, but that that somehow leaves you feeling cold, leaves you feeling. Um, lacking in something and perhaps you know what's lacking here is this compassion this needing to see things from another person's point of view and because you've got here in your guidance row you've got the the strength card which is about using not brute force and um harsh um you know their power and 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 um, enforcement but rather gentle persuasion careful and um, tender understanding in order to um, gain the trust and cooperation of those around you so you know your guidance sort of suggests the strength you need isn't rigid and um, forceful um, and military it's it's something that is far more compassionate something that is about love and acceptance um, and guiding through love and acceptance and you know if you're able to use those energies rather than the more military um, harsh logical energies you 
you will find success not simply on your own, but success that involves others. And here's someone, you know, this is a card of, of um, achievement, but achievement that's appreciated. This sort of shows to me drawing in others around you, sort of being hailed and, and accepted and appreciated for your success. So you have that success, but it involves um, warmth and happiness from those around you. Yeah, go away, Brocky. Um, as opposed to your... Just the, sorry about the Scorpio. I'm just going to remove the kitty. Sorry, Brockett, you can't be there. So as opposed to um, the sense of lack, of, of being out in the cold, of not finding that warmth and acceptance, you have it here. So in order to, but you don't lose the success. Here she carries a laurel wreath which denotes success and people have come out to greet her with flowers which is about, you know, it sort of makes me think of forgiveness and um, offerings rather than simply being forced to follow. So through gentle compassion, through understanding and um, empathy, you will gain a greater, more, a warmer success rather than this cold success. And, you know, you move towards a, a, drawing a line, ending this sense of um, desolation almost. It sort of, it sort of shows the Ten of Swords is about giving, I get a sense of yielding something, giving up something allowing something to all this you know the, the strife to ending so this these swords here coming to an end this strife and stress ending with a sense of upliftment and a new day starting you see with the i don't know if you can see it there's a sunrise you know that this sort of shows the new day that begins as something ends so the ending the difficulty ending with a note of positiveness and is to me like a really message here to go gently to go with love and compassion and there you find yourself leading once again in a leading position but with um leading with inspiration with you know having um inspiring others um charm you know with wit and charm and um a sense of creativity so i really get the sense here there's a message to um you know maybe it's you allowing someone to come in from the cold there seems to be a message of needing to to forgive um You've got, you know, with the weaver's moon and strength, you've got that idea of walking in someone else's shoes, that compassionate persuasion, that gentle persuasion, and um, still being able to be in control in a leadership position, have, it's still having that sense of success and attainment, but with, with friendship, with, you know, coming with that embrace, that warm embrace, and an ending to the strife and um, and <clears throat> others feeling inspired by you so you know there is this potential here to find happiness love contentment with others without losing your authority or your sense of control and that is through empathy, compassion, walking in another's shoes and um, that kind and gentle strength that sort of really it's about you know it's almost like a homecoming here a, a, a dispute that 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 is um, that ends you know that that concludes because of someone's ability to 
see things from another's point of view and to gently persuade them. Um, and, you know, sort of there's a sense here of um, reconciliation and achievement and the ending of strife and trouble with um, a sense of um, inspiring others, you know, that, that happy leading, that adventurous leading, rather than the harsh, cold, disciplinarian figures you have here in the beginning. So there you have it, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons and then have a good two weeks and God bless you till we meet again.